Hi everyone and welcome back to Googie's Kitchen. My name's Alexis and today I wanted to show you how to make my delicious homemade mayonnaise from my new book, Gifts from Grandpa. show you how to make my dad's homemade mayonnaise but before I do if you are new to my channel then hello and welcome it's lovely to have you here and if you like cooking videos and you want to see more like this one then I post two videos a week on a Tuesday and a Thursday at 7 a.m. so please don't forget to hit that subscribe button as I just mentioned, today I want to show you how to make my delicious homemade mayonnaise. Now this recipe is in my new cookbook, Gifts from Grandpa, which is available to buy on Amazon and I will link it in the description box below for you. Um, this book has been written in loving memory of my dad because I think that my dad was an amazing cook. So I wanted to write down lots of his recipes and put them in a book. So in this book are my dad's recipes, a few of my own, a couple of my nans and one of my grandfather's and a pound from the sale of each book will go to the homeless charity Crisis. Now on to my delicious homemade mayonnaise recipe, well my dad's homemade mayonnaise recipe. Um, my dad always used to like making homemade mayonnaise, it was something he just enjoyed doing. It gave him great pleasure to use it in his cooking as well. He always used to make a delicious coleslaw with the mayonnaise which I will make for you very soon but for now I'm going to make this. Mayonnaise is a slightly complex um, condiment to make. It's not easy but once you've got the knack of it it's so much more delicious than buying it from a supermarket. My son has actually requested this to have with a tuna jacket today so we're having tuna mayonnaise jackets for lunch today. So I thought I'd show you how to make it. So here is my homemade mayonnaise recipe. To start my homemade mayonnaise I am going to just crack the eggs and separate the egg yolk from the white. So let me just separate those. And then I'm going to put the egg yolk into a large bowl like so. Make sure it's a clean bowl as well. And I've also got a tea towel underneath as well and that's to hold the bowl steady. I just do two of these. So you need two egg, uh, egg yolks for this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some Dijon mustard. Now don't worry it doesn't make it taste mustardy strangely enough um, but it just gives it a bit of extra flavour. It would taste quite plain without that in it I think. So let me just move that out of the way. And now I'm going to add my Dijon mustard to this. So I'm going to add half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. And quantity is everything in this recipe when making mayonnaise. And I'm also going to add a pinch of salt as well. That's it. And then I'm just going to turn my whisk on and I'm going to begin to whisk these together. So once everything's well whisked in there, I'm just going to start to add the oil bit by bit. And you only need a little bit to begin with as well. Just put that down over there. whisk until all the oil has been absorbed by the egg yolk and then you add a little bit more to the bowl. And you just keep repeating this process 
until you get mayonnaise at the end. You just keep adding bit by bit. That's what you do. When it gets to this consistency, when it's really nice and thick, what you want to do is you want to add a tea tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and that will just thin it out a little bit and also give it a little bit of flavour as well. And that is your mayonnaise done. So all I've done is transfer this to a glass jar with a lid, an airtight lid, and this will keep in the fridge for probably about two to three days, no longer than that, because it will go off, and unfortunately it's not freezeable either. So it's the kind of thing you have to make and eat on the day, I'd say, for, it, for the best taste. But yeah, so we're gonna have this with tuna jackets this afternoon for our lunch, but I thought I'd give it a try, first of all. Mmm. That is really good. Really love homemade mayonnaise, it's yummy. So I'm off now to store this in my fridge. So that's how you make my delicious homemade mayonnaise from my new book, Gifts from Grandpa, which is available to buy on Amazon. And I will link it in the description box below for you. I'll also link the recipe in the description box below too. As I mentioned earlier, I'm off to enjoy this with a nice tuna jacket this afternoon. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. Do you like making your own mayonnaise or have you ever tried? I'd love to know. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.